Hi, topic I'm going to um, speak to is regarding the thyroid and uh, fertility or thyroid and pregnancy. Uh, thyroid has uh, become a very common uh, condition nowadays. We don't know why it is around, maybe around when women are conceiving nowadays, we find around up to 10% of women have thyroid issue. One in 10 women who come have thyroid issue. Uh, is it environmental? Is it uh, you know chemicals mixed in the food? Or uh, genetic? Is, is very difficult to say. But it, it, right now it is a very common uh, problem what what women faces. Thyroid, as I told, is a very important hormone. Uh, those who have thyroid uh, issues, they have to take the medicine regularly without any fail. Uh, the first thing in the morning, uh, even before. Uh, they have a breakfast, they should take it on fasting, an empty stomach and not to eat or drink for at least 45 minutes after taking the tablet because empty stomach will uh, help to absorb properly. Parameters of thyroid uh, are different for pregnant and non-pregnant women. The most important uh, the test what we do is, is uh, T3, T4 and TSH. TSH is called the thyroid stimulating hormone which is uh, um, first for diagnosis we need all the three and once we diagnose we need only TSH to monitor the, the how the thyroid level is in the body. Uh, hypothyroidism is very common when compared to hyperthyroidism. Thyroid is more common, 8 to 10 times more common in women when compared to the men. And the uh, thyroid, if you don't treat it properly, first of all I would say those who especially have uh, delayed periods or irregular periods or family history of thyroid, Asian women, I think they should undergo a thyroid test before they consume and get the treatment properly according to the TSH value. Uh, if the TSH is more, then uh, we have to do some additional blood tests like antibodies, so thyroid peroxidase antibodies, thyroid immunoglobulin antibodies need to be done. Uh, that will tell us the prognosis and, and the, what are the risk factors going to happen in pregnancy. Uh, TSH, we have to maintain between 0.5 to 2.5 milli international units per ml. If the TSH is high and if the antibodies levels are very high and the woman find it might difficult to conceive and uh, there is a risk of miscarriage and if they can conceive there is a risk of uh, uh, preterm labor, preterm labor um, or premature delivery can happen with, uh, with the hypothyroidism and if the thyroid especially TSH is not been controlled or she has not been diagnosed or she is not taking the medicines properly, if the TSH is very high especially in the early pregnancy, the baby the, which is going to be born can have severe in uh, IQ uh, problems, basically neurodevelopmental problems can happen. So it's very important that THH uh, need to be tested and need to be taken regularly. I need to check it every four to six months if you're planning for a baby or if you're pregnant, you have to check it at least once in two months. Second thing is uh, about uh, hyperthyroidism is very less common. Uh, I would say uh, one in 10, if 10, uh, not one in 10, but one in 20, if uh, hyperthyroidism is 20 people, only hyperthyroid can be only one, one person can be having it. So less common and again you have to see an endocrinologist both for hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. You have to see an endocrinologist, get it checked, um, treat properly, maintain the TSS level between 0 0.2 to 2.5 and, and try to get pregnant after that. I hope this information is very useful for you. Thank you.